the victorian poet robert browning's life in a love first published in 1855 explores the often obsessive irrational nature of unrequited love the poem speaker was to endlessly pursue his beloved even in the face of seemingly relentless failure the form of the poem in which the last three lines mirror the first three reflects the circular nature of poet's quest to reunite with his lover a quest he was to renew for as long as the world contains them both browning published life in a love in his collection man and woman a volume dedicated to his wife the poet elizabeth barrett browning escape me never beloved well i am i and you are you so long as the world contains us both me the loving and you the lot well the one eludes must the other pursue my life is a fault at last i fear it seems too much like a fate indeed though i do my best i shall scarce succeed but what if i fail of my purpose here it is but to keep the nerves at strain to dry one's eyes and laugh at a fall and baffled get up and begin again so the chase takes up one's life that's all while look but once from your farthest bound at me so deep in the dust and dark no sooner the old hope goes to ground than a new one straight to the self same mark i shape me ever removed